Hello my dear friends welcome back to Infigyan in this video we are going to take up one very interesting question from radical mathematics we are going to evaluate cube root so let's get started by considering expression equal to x now i will call this part only equal to y so x is equal to cube root of 1 plus y now we have to find out or simplify y separately. So y is equal to 12 over the square root 13 plus 1 plus 528 over the square root 13 minus 1. Let's take LCM. Denominator will be the square root 13 plus 1 times the square root 13 minus 1. In numerator, I will get 12 times root 13 minus 1 plus 528 times root 13 plus 1. Now we will simplify our numerator and denominator. So I will write 12 square root 13 minus 12 plus 528 square root 13 plus 528 over a plus b times a minus b so we can use difference of two squares formula root 13 square minus 1 square 528 plus 12 or 12 plus 528 is 540 square root 13 528 minus 12 i will write 516 over a square root and a square will be over so this is 13 minus 1 which is 12 now i can take 12 common from the numerator so i will get 45 square root 13 plus 43 and denominator is 12 so this will be cancelled out we will get y equal to 45 square root 13 plus 43. Let's replace this value. So we will get x equals to cube root of 1 plus y equal to cube root of 1 plus 45 square root 13 plus 43 or I can write cube root of 1 plus 43 is 44 so 45 is square root 13 plus 44 this is equal to x now we can consider cubing both sides so I will put power 3 both sides now this cube root and cube will be cancelled out from our RHS we will get x cube equal to 45 square root 13 plus 44 or I can write x cube will be equal to 45 I will write 15 times 3 and then we have square root 13 plus 44 now 3 can be written as 15 as it is, 3 will be square root 9 times square root 13 plus 44. Now we will club these two radicals and we can write x cube equal to 15 times square root of 9 times 13, 1, 1, 7 plus 44. Let me write here 15 is square root 117 plus 44. This is equal to x cube. Now I will solve using Simon's favorite factoring trick. So I need to multiply both sides by 8. So I will write 8x cube equals to 8 times 15 
times the square root 117 plus 44 times 8. So 8 can be written as 2 cube. Then we have x cube. 15 times 8 is 120. The square root 117 plus 44 times 8 is 352. Now we can write here 2x whole cube and RHS 120 square root 117. I will split 120 as 117 plus 3. Then we have the square root 117 plus 352. I will split 351 plus 1. Or I can write 117 square root 117 plus 3 times square root 117 plus 351 plus 1. Now I can write 117 square root 117 as the square root 117 whole cube. Then our last term 1 I will write as 1 whole cube. Then I can write 3 times the square root 117 whole square times 1 as 351. And then I will be writing 3 times the square root 117 times 1 square. So this is replicating one algebraic formula. If I will write a cube plus p cube plus 3a square b plus 3a b square which is equal to a plus b whole cube. So I will write our RHS as the square root 117 plus 1 whole cube. So this will be equal to 2x whole cube equal to the square root 117 plus 1 whole cube. Now for real values of x, I will consider cube root both sides. So by considering cube roots both sides, we will get 2x equal to the square root 117 plus 1. Now I will divide both sides by 2. We will get x equal to the square root 117 plus 1 over 2. Or I can consider 13 times 9 as 117. So I will be writing 3 square root 13 plus 1 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care.